What is a duck's favorite part of a DVD menu? The special webbed features. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy Thursday. Welcome to a new game. We're going to try and play Darkwing Duck on the NES, a game I've never played before. Um, the only thing I know about it going into it is it... I've heard that it's kind of like Mega Man. Which, I, uh, I like Mega Man, so that's a good... that would be a good thing. But really, I know nothing else about it, so it's going to be a blind playthrough. I'm going to try and discover everything organically, with no research and no help. I'm hoping that this game is not going to be an agonizing nightmare like so many other games I look forward to. <laughs> but uh, I guess we shall see. But uh, welcome in, my friends. Dead Zergling is first in chat tonight. Always grateful to have you here, Zergling. You should be up to 98 streams. And uh, Lucent Jelly, welcome in, Jelly. Thank you, uh, as always, for being here. Sure, why not? We'll go with the hat. What? I hope you're lying to me, Zergling. I hope you're tro I really hope you're trolling me. How? I haven't even had, I haven't even had any, I really hope you're messing with me because I haven't had any glitchy streams. I didn't sleepwalk and go live one night, did I? That is infuriating. That is infuriating. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry, Zergling. I wish that... Uh, I wish there was at least a reason. Not that it would make it better. I'd still be furious. We were so close. Well... Let's just jump into the game. It is what it is. I doubt I'll go for it again. <laughs> Can wait for Tuesday. Ah, uh, but you... We know it was 100, Jelly says. That's true. Uh, once again, we need your help, Darkwing. A mysterious crime wave has swept over the city. We believe these crimes are the work of that secret... Criminal organization, Foul. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your missions. Remember to collect all of the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Good luck, Darkwing. I have no idea who that was. Um, where should we go now, DW? All right. Well, we got a we've got a choice. Okay. I'm just taking a moment to experience the music. It's okay, but definitely not the best. Hey, Outlet Mall. Welcome in. I missed most of the conversation, but it sounds like it said you went live. But is just Twitch having a glitch? It happened to me? Or the streamer I follow? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, Zergling, uh, we were talking about uh, Zergling was trying to hit 100 on the watch streak. 
and he was in the high 90s but he said his streak reset and we don't know why because i haven't had any i haven't had any stream glitches in the past couple days like if if the stream had crashed and restarted or something like that if there had been a problem on my end then i would know i would at least know why it happened but everything on my end has been smooth and zergling has been here every night so there's no reason for his stream to be reset, but it but it did. And so we're just lamenting the loss because he had he made a good effort to 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 hang in there and, and was gonna be the first to hit a hundred watch streak for this stream. And it it's really disappointing that it bugged out. I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna be boring and just go left to right. We'll just start over here on the bridge. Quacker Jack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You'd better stop him before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? Yeah, let's do it. I love... I love how much purple... I love all the purple in the game. Maybe I'll feel the freedom to skip Jet Force Gemini tomorrow, Zergling says. Uh, Alright, this is very... Oh, it's not like Mega Man at all. Darkwing can... Dark, Darkwing... <laughs> Darkwing can... Duck. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it looks like we have a shield, too. Gas and gas energy. Amazon Prime Directive, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're doing well tonight. Welcome to a uh, first playthrough. We're just getting started, and I've I've jumped in with no research, so I'm just getting a feel for how the game works right now before we start facing some obstacles as usual and I'll probably mention it again and again our uh, our no spoilers policy is in place there's a, there's a very a very strictly blind playthrough <laughs> so if you if you see me struggling or if you hear me say something that's wrong please don't help or correct me <laughs> just let me be be wrong and laugh at what a fool I am Order of my health already gone. Okay, one per customer on the ladder building. That's not a ladder? Ah! Uh-oh. It's not a ladder, it's the fine. Oh, we can duck and fire, that's great. Well, I want to test the... I want to test the cape, but I'm afraid... Now that I only have a single piece of health left, that would be a bad move. A Koopa Troopa down there. Got back into playing various games for retro achievements so far. Playing until I feel like moving on to something else, Outlet Mall says. Right on. Retro achievements uh, seems like a lot of fun. I don't, uh, I haven't done any retro achievements myself. I would like to someday if I get a... I can't really do them at the moment because I use I use physical hardware for for everything. I use the old consoles. So it's not like because I don't use emulation very much, I don't really have an option for retro achievements, but uh if something about my setup changes down the line, I I would be curious to explore them uh for a few game for uh, for some of the games that I really love at least. They're fun to watch, though. I watch a lot of Retro Achievement streams. I think it's a, it's a great way to add some life to a game that you, uh, that maybe you've already mastered. 
Uh, Saints Row level of purple, Prime Directive says. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell, I'm a, I'm a big fan of purple. <laughs> um, no back seating. Oh, nice. The, uh, the emote there. How much money does a duck have, Final asks. One bill. Welcome in, Final. <laughs> Just coming in to claim the first comment award. <laughs> you may have to, uh, you may have, may have to fight a few people for it. I'm really scared of this bat. Oh, I shouldn't have been. He was easy. You can't walk and fire. When you fire, you get stuck in place. This is not a running gun. This is a stand-in gun. I'm just gonna let that guy get out of my life. From what I've heard, they're gonna start making GameCube retro achievements. So I probably, I probably like a, like GameCube games. I would be a bit, I would be a bit intimidated to try and complete a retro achievement set for a GameCube game because of how large the games are. Again, maybe if it was a game I really loved, but that hurt me. I think when I get into it, I'm probably going to stick with uh, with much uh, with much smaller with much smaller games. Uh, definitely at first, at least. Alright, uh, I hear Jelly approaching. Excuse me one moment. jelly. I've got a fresh mug of coffee. I've got some apple slices and some cheese. Let's go ahead and have a bite of apple real quick. Hey, EpiPen, welcome in. Precision jumping is nothing to a jump king. <laughs> I think if I ever, if I, I think if I ever beat the second DLC, I'm going to, uh... Oh, this, the, it doesn't, the, no backward scrolling, okay. We can't go back down. I just learned that the hard way. <laughs> Thunder gas. 20 gas energy. I don't know what that... could have very easily become a challenger run if I hadn't figured that out. What? Thank you. If I ever beat DLC 2, I'm going to start introducing myself to everyone as a, as a jump king. I will, I will boast about it endlessly. It'll be very obnoxious.
Uh, Zergling says, I take it easy on my first rewards. I just do it within the first five seconds. I see the stream going live. Plenty of leeway for someone to steal it. I'm not sure if I feel cheated or vindicated about my streak, Zergling says. Uh, at least you're taking it in stride. I'm excited for what is supposed to come after that. Commodore 64. Oh, that sounds like fun. I would like, I would probably like to do the retro achievements for Dino Eggs on C64. I love that game. I just hit my three day streak and it gave me an error trying to share it. Streaks might be bugging out kind of generally. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff on Twitch does seem to bug out. Skater Die 2 was added fairly recently. I'm not uh, I'm not really familiar with those games. I never played a Skater Die. I think um, at least the first one was on the NES, right? But I, I mean, it's probably on a bunch of things, but I never tried it. Let's see. I was made for the lightning. Ooh, am I bold enough to go down there? You bet I am. Agent Frowny is the man without fear. I keep showing up for what would have been 100 just because Zergling says. I won't, uh, I wouldn't hold my breath. No, Jump King's not, Jump King's not fully on the shelf. I just, uh, I, I, it's more normal for me to, to juggle a whole lot of games at once. And, uh, and I'll only play each thing uh, a couple nights a week. We're actually, depending on how this goes, we might actually play Jump King at the end of the stream tonight. But I, uh, I'm not promising that because uh, I don't know how long this game is going to take. But if we finish this, if we finish this quickly enough and I still have enough energy then I'll probably play some Jump King at the end of tonight's stream. Heavy gas. Oh, we can only have one sort of thing at a time. I really should test that cape. is a shield. Oh, I mean, he's doing the same thing. If I hadn't figured that out, he would have taught me right there. <laughs> Red kit, nice. Skater Die 1 was pretty good. First one has different events you compete in. I've heard that the C64 had over 10,000 games during its lifetime. Yeah, I mean, there's a... I don't, I don't know exactly how many. I'd believe that, though, because there's the, there seems to be an endless amount of C64 games. Boss time? Okay, so please don't drop bananas on me.
This is tough. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Part of why it's tough is the controls are weird here. It's not consistent what you have to press to move downward. You have to hold down and press B. Will you stop dropping bananas on me for a second so I can talk? You have to hold down and press B to grab onto the bar, and then you just tap down to get off of it. Like, I want to hold down and press B twice, but if you do that, you jump back up. It makes sense why the control is like it is, but it's very difficult to wrap my brain around. I just uh, would figure to get down, you would just do the same thing twice. bigger problem with uh, trying to press the right thing than I do with the obstacles that are being thrown at me. Oh, we have a raid coming in. Very nice. Welcome in, raiders. I'm trying to hang on to life in this boss battle. I'll be with you in just a moment. But uh, thank you for joining us. Oh, no. I've failed. I have failed us all. Welcome in, Ook. Hey, thank you for the raid. Always uh, great to have you here. Hope you've uh, had a wonderful night tonight. It says you're playing Secret of Mana. I have not played Secret of Mana. I've played the first one, the Final Fantasy Adventure, and that game was a lot of fun. I don't like I don't like RPGs that much, but uh, action RPGs I'm a lot more. I'm a lot more excited for, and Final Fantasy Adventure was really good, so I'm, I'm looking forward to Secret of Mana, but haven't made it there yet myself. Hopefully it's treating you well. It's got a lot in common with the first. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it, but I, I don't know, it's somewhere, somewhere down the line. Hey, Mile Hyro, welcome in. Why are we getting dangerous? It's the lyrics to the theme song for Darkwing Duck, Mile Hyro. You're a, you're a bad enough dude, Jelly says. I don't remember what that was in reference to. Skater Die 2 has an adventure mode and a ramp mode. C64 had, had official support until 2012, but I think that was only in Europe. You can still find there's a there's a there's active uh, there's people actively making games for the C64 still. We played one last year, I think. We played a game called Lester. It's a it's a Metroid style game. It's basically Metroid for the C64. Um, it came out. It came out last year, and we played it. I think in January, and it is amazing. Very good. Lester uh, C64, fantastic game. I like that the Skater Die games are kind of multi games. EpiPen says. Ah. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> that's a candy corn emote. Oh, that's one of Mr. Sarks. Uh, the, 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 the Scrooge, the Scrooge McDuck avatar jelly made that for me. I've had this one for a long time. She made this one like two years ago when we played DuckTales for the first time. Secret of Mana is definitely a good time, Ook says. Uh, I have to get up early tomorrow, Prime Directive says. Well, I'm grateful to have you here for as long as I can. C64 is its own version of a lot of games. 
Yeah, it's got a it's got a gigantic library. Burn and rubber is a version of bump and jump. No, no worry, no worries, EpiPen. All right, well, we made it to the boss. I think we'll just keep going with this stage. I see no reason to back out. I'm doing bad. First impressions are pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this game so far. There's a, there's a few quirks to the controls that are uh, a little odd that I'm going to have to get used to, but I'm fairly confident I will. The whole thing about it stopping you in place when you fire is something to get used to. And the weird, the oddity with trying to get down through a platform is definitely going to take me a little while, but... I think those are both things I can learn to manage. I don't know what that was. It looked like a bottle of heart. My, uh, my wife does almost all of the artwork that appears on the stream. Um, the, the, the character art and the starting soon screens and BRB screens. Uh, my sister has also made a few uh, for me. She's also an artist and... Um, a couple times, a couple times a viewer has posted a, a piece of art in the, uh, in the Discord that we've ended up, ended up using on the stream. But it's, it's a very largely, uh, Jelly's work. The art and emotes and everything else. No, I'm going to get hit. Oh, I didn't. Nice. Victory. Damageless first boss. Let's go. Agent Frowny is good at games. Ignore all the other tries. <laughs> Ignore all the other tries. Uh, where should we go now, DW? I'm curious if we can go back to a previous stage. We can? No. Okay. Wolf Duck. 
and his henchmen are rampaging through the center of the city. But be careful, Wolf Duck goes berserk when the moon comes out. You want to go there? Let's go. I see that banana peel. You're not going to fool me. Oh, no. The situation there got really scary for a moment. I think I ride this. Yep. I thought it would create a platform. That's great. I like that. We're going to keep this one. It might not be very useful for combat, but it'll I'll feel really good about exploration with it. I think I probably have a larger imagination for secrets than what actually exists, but... I'd rather be able to satisfy my curiosity. That first boss was something else. I'm uh, I'm impressed. I'm in, I'm in the I'm impressed. I like that. That that boss was challenging. The tires don't work like I think they do either. <laughs> I expect I ex I expect when you're standing on the tire that. I expect to be rolled along with it and to have to walk against the tire to stay on top. Kind of like you do in um, Magical Quest on the Super NES. Doesn't work that way, though. doesn't work. The DuckTales reboot show is pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's a whole duck verse with Darkwing Duck being in the same world as Scrooge and family. I kind of always assumed that they were connected because Launchpad is in both series, right? I'm not super familiar with them. I probably I probably saw about an equal amount of DuckTales and Darkwing Duck as a kid, but they're not they're not shows that I watched like every weekend. They're things that I would they're things I would catch occasionally and so I I just I don't remember them super well. Nice. Okay. Oh. I wanted to see if I, I was trying to see if I could control the height of the balloon. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could make the balloon go up and down.
the integrated story is told very well too. I mean in the uh, in the uh, the show. have to get those one-ups. Nice. So glad I chose to keep the arrows. guy's invincible. Launchpad was always a connection, but they didn't cross over other than that in the past. Hope they keep making it. It's been a while since season two came out. David Tennant as Scrooge. It's a good cast. So I can grab these? Okay. Guy sure does have a lot of health. Just let that guy live and let live. <laughs> Boss time. Okay, we can only hit him when the clouds are in bloom. <laughs> I don't know what word I was reaching for. the box, the pieces are still deadly to me. Jump too early. Okay, this is not... This is worse than I thought. I really need that guy to stop doing that jump.
got robbed. Victory. Not bad, not bad. That boss is maybe less interesting than the first stage boss, but... I mean, it was still pretty challenging. <laughs> for what it was. Very fast, very fast moving. I just got an SOS call from the sewers. Liquidator is on the loose. Do you want to go there? I wonder if Liquidator is a... is an alligator with the ability to melt. That's what I'm going to imagine until we make it there. Looks like Season 3 was the final. Hopefully since they introduced DW, it paves the way for a for a Darkwing Duck spinoff uh, series spinoff reboot. I suppose we shall see. I can't grab that. I can. Do I want this thing? I really like these arrows. I think I'm just going to keep the arrows. I don't know if it's deadly to go down to the left or not. There's an alligator. There are alligators in this universe. Ooh. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm out of uh, stuff. Uh, I really want... I really want... Uh, Please stop. I really want the um, one up, but I. Maybe I can farm some uh, ammo. Or maybe I can just farm some health loss. That didn't work like I thought it would. Sorry, Gamma. Welcome in. You are Darkwing Duck. Slowly, slowly I am becoming one with my character.
one-up acquired, and I still got some juice for this other one. Oh, this is just a little bonus area. Okay, we, uh, it doesn't appear we can go up there. Unless... It doesn't appear we can go up there. No! Well, we got all the one-ups. I lost, I'm, I'm still net positive. I lost two lives get, getting three one-ups, so. I'm still, I'm still coming, coming away with an extra life. Your lives are gone now. Makes me want to play Rockman X. I played through that game once. I uh, I prefer the I prefer the eight bit Mega Man games so far, but. I'd like to play more of the X series. I've got quite a few of them. And I actually have the Rockman variants of them. Because the Mega Man the one the, the Western releases are really expensive and rare. But like for the SNES I've got Rockman 7 and X1, 2, and 3. the Super Famicom. Prefer X and X2. I'm definitely less familiar with the 16-bit ones, so they're at a disadvantage there. But I, I tend to prefer, like, I tend to prefer 8-bit games to 16-bit games, generally speaking. Like, I like the 8-bit Contras better than the 16-bit Contras. So, my, my feeling isn't likely to change all that much, but... I mean, I definitely like them enough to want to play them all. Yeah, Mega Man X, 2, and 3 are pretty expensive, uh, as I recall. I don't think X1 is, is all that rare or expensive, but X2 and 3, I believe, are. Mega Man X1 is one of the few games that I actually have complete in box. I don't usually go out of my way to collect complete games, and I didn't, uh, I didn't really intentionally collect that one either, but I ended up with it, and, uh, I'm not unhappy, I'm not unhappy about that. No, this, uh, platform is janky. Very janky. I think that's why they gave me an extra life down there to begin with, because they knew I was going to meet my doom because of the janky platform. <laughs> right, we'll challenge, we'll challenge the player to an extra life, but we'll take it away. Oh, 
Christmas. Go. Do you think the Japanese version would be more expensive with speedrunners using it? Um, I mean, it might just be an issue of the number of production. There was might might be more Japanese copies in existence. But I don't know. If for the next 24 hours you could not get injured or feel any pain, would you do anything wild, my Lyral says? Um, I can't say that I would, Mile Higher Roll. I don't, like, I don't even know, I can't even think of what I would be tempted to, uh, to attempt. Sorry to interrupt your mission, but we need your help. A group of burglars have broken into the city's vault and taken all the valuable items. Our information indicates that the burglars dropped some of the loot during their getaway. Blast open the containers and collect as many of the items as you can. Your time runs out. Good luck, Darkwing. Oh! I found a bonus game. I missed one. Okay, perfection is not mandated here. Well, that's kind of cool. I would play Battletoads on stream, Mile High Real says. Oh, good choice. You see, Mile High Roll, if I were in that scenario, I probably would not trust whatever whatever supernatural entity it was that came to me and offered me that, like, extremely dubious deal. This is cool. The only thing I don't like about it is it's easy to accidentally drop off of these platforms when you don't mean to. The, there's a little bit of touchiness to the control. But I love the, uh, love the concept of that uh, challenge there. Moving on the plat platforms through the spikes. Very cool. Boss time. Liquidator is not an alligator. <laughs> I was wrong. He's some kind of dog.
victory. First try. Let's go. Hey, Yudo, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. It was Gandalf who gave you the power. You could trust Gandalf. Trust me, my Lyra says. The supply should go down with the uh, with the runners buying them. This is true. The idea that idea is from an episode of Family Guy. Gotta live and gamble, Frowny Kasari Gama says. I'm not much of a gambler. Dancing Gandalf. Chilling out here tonight, Ido says. Right on. Finished the last side mission so far on Stellar Blade. GG on the victory. I'm 99% sure it's an imposter genie and not taking that deal, Kazari Gama says. Precisely. I think a lot of Darkwing Duck's rogues gallery are based off comic book villains, Outlet Mall says. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a, uh, you know, a, a high degree of parody to the inspiration here. Liquidators based off Hydro Man, fair enough. Gallows, welcome man. Thank you for joining us. I'm the terror that flaps in the night. PlayStation 5 needs to cool down anyway. It's 90 degrees here. That's uh, it's quite a bit too warm for, for my taste. <laughs> what if you don't have to trust him because he drops you? From a mile high onto the middle of a busy highway where you get smacked around by truck after truck. <laughs> but you're fine, so no no need to trust. Then I then I trust this being even less EpiPen. <laughs> it doesn't follow. It doesn't follow that 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 this being is not tricking me into harming myself, but with one display. Right, just... <laughs> and in fact, I think it's even more likely that it's, that it's untrustworthy. Now that it's, uh, now that it's done something like this, now that it's done something like this to me, <laughs> with, <laughs> without, you know, against, against my wishes... <laughs> Hey, Skeeving Miner, welcome in. This game was going to have a sequel made by Head Cannon. Seen behind Sonic Mania, but Capcom shot down their demo. You can see it online. I wonder if Capcom just didn't want to just didn't want to repurchase the license. That's true, Zergling. We should see. Uh, ho hopefully, Tuesday will show up, and we can uh, we can see uh, if uh, Tuesday's streak is still intact. Fifty degrees or lower is my ideal temperature. Kusari Gama says, "Yeah, I uh, I'm pretty much right there with you. I like it to be pretty cold." Well, I have the I have the facts that the, that this being can make me impervious to damage but i don't know that i need to trust that i that i that i will remain so 
I, I, w I would assume that this being is just trying to trying to trick me into inflicting damage upon myself. But regardless, you know, I don't, uh, I don't really, I can't really think of anything that I would, uh, I can't really think of anything I would be eager to go out and do. I'm the crazy person who likes skydiving, Kazarigama says, so, yeah. I'll pass. <laughs> exactly, exactly, FEPN. It was all a ploy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Three new stages. Something strange is going on in the woods. It may be the work of Bushroot. Go check it out, Darkwing. To the woods. Whoa! What was that? A lot of the enemies in this game take a thousand hits. We seem to have an infinite supply of continues, so I feel free to make as many mistakes as I want. Which is good, because I'm good at mistakes. <laughs> Perfect timing on that health drop. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's absolutely wild out here.
Can I block these flowers? Probably not. I can't even I can't even attempt it. I can't get the timing on it right. Alright, I cannot. They are destructible. In a completely meaningless way, because it cost me so much life to destroy them. <laughs> this game is brutal. I didn't like the way I was doing that anyway. But timing a jump over those guys is real tough. You would think the you would think the rhinos from Jumping Kid would have trained me to uh, to do that better. But I'm coming in practiced and I'm still doing a bad job. We'll see. We'll see how I approach it. Things are getting better. Things are getting way better. I don't know if these waterfalls are pitfalls or if they're just hiding things. <laughs> Or they're just uh, decorative. No, I was unsure whether or not I can grab the. Uh, Earthworm Jim, gross. What a terrible game. What a terrible game Earthworm Jim is. Oh, I fell down. I could still get back up there if I really wanted, but I don't actually need the health. We're going down? We're going down. Nope. 
Oh, look at this knight guy. He's so silly. He's also really tough. <laughs> Earthworm Jim is one of the, one of the greatest of all time. I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to let you play it. <laughs> I was worried for a moment that we were about to get a repeat boss. It's not, though. Oh no, that was my last life. From the top. Earthworm Jim is on par with the old Fallout games, or remind me never to play those then. <laughs> Earthworm Jim was a beautiful and clever game that made promises of greatness that were not reflected in the overall quality of the game, EpiPen says. I would agree with that. Earthworm Jim is a game that, like, it's very easy to want to love Earthworm Jim until you play it. <laughs> Hey, Derek Ocean, welcome in. Yeah, I never saw the Earthworm Jim cartoon. I remember... I remember there being a cartoon. I think, like, Wendy's or Pizza Hut or someone had toys for the Earthworm Jim cartoon in their kids' meal. King maybe I don't know one of the I don't I feel like it wasn't McDonald's I feel like it was one of the like it was one of the other fast food places had the earthworm gym toys a lot of people loved earthworm gym one and two Kusari <laughs> Gama says That's not a, that's not going to convince me to love it. After Earthworm Jim 2, it fell off hard.
yeah, the game eventually teaches you how terrible it is. I mean, even on stage one, some of the stuff on stage one is pretty janky. There's a lot of, like, style over substance in Earthworm Jim. Then, like, you got the stage that's set in hell, and the, the jank, the, the jank dial, like, just cranks all the way up, and then you have all these terrible gimmick levels back to back, and all the spikes at the end. Oh my goodness, there's just everything about it is terrible. <laughs> the submarine, gross. The bungee jumping, gross. The escort mission, gross. They're just all just one terrible level after another. <laughs> I like that the, um, you know, spoiler, spoiler alert for Earthworm Jim. I do love that the cow from stage one shows up at the end. That's some, that's some masterful storytelling. So, I do love that. Victory! Let's go! That was great. Another fantastic boss. Yeah, I'm with you there. I'm with you there on Battletoads. Battletoads is amazing. And I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to hold the minority opinion. You know, most people can't, most people can't see the beauty and majesty of Castlevania 64. And if that's the world I live in, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly happy to have everyone think I'm wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, tr I wouldn't trade being able to see how great that game is for anything. <laughs> Got the day off work. Hot water heater broke. We couldn't open it all, Derek says. Oh my goodness, I thought you meant the hot water heater at your home broke. Yeah, hot water is, uh, hot water is important. I do, I do love, uh, I do love Battletoads and and Ghosts and Goblins, but yeah, I don't love Earthworm Jim. I can't, uh, I can't love Earthworm Jim. I don't like all those, uh, I don't like all those gimmick levels. Sorry about that. I suddenly had the had the need to sneeze. <laughs> I got a, I got attacked by a random sneeze. Wow. Um, if I'm not mistaken, NES Turtles one. No, I haven't played that one yet. EpiPen. That's on my to-do list. Uh, we'll, we'll do Turtles one someday. Speaking of Battle Toads, I think we're gonna play some Battle Toads next week. I think on Tuesday. I think I want to play Battle Toads on Tuesday next week. 
I think what we're gonna do is I actually might start playing Battletoads games on Tuesdays regularly. Maybe we'll start the stream with Battletoads 1 on the NES like every Tuesday and then see about playing through slash making progress in one of the other games in the second half of the stream. I'm going to see about doing a lot of Battletoads runs to get in practice with that game. I can't see the Majesty in Castlevania period, Zergling says. I'm sorry to hear that, Zergling. It's not surprising to me. I do recall I do recall that you're not a Castlevania fan. That is surprising to me because uh, I do believe you like Ghosts and Goblins. And it seems odd to me that to be able to enjoy Ghosts and Goblins and not Castlevania because they are very much of a type in my opinion. But, uh, oh well. I mean, I can't, I can't talk you into liking Castlevania any more than I'm gonna be talked in, than I'm gonna be talked into liking Earthworm Jim. Hey Claire, welcome in. We love this game. Excellent, I'm glad that you, uh, caught us. We're, uh, this is my first playthrough, Claire. We just, uh, we're on stage five. But, uh, I just dived into this one, uh, tonight for the first time. Going in and going in blind so far so good i really like i really like two of the bosses we fought so far uh megavolt and his henchmen are robbing the warehouses along the wharf you better move quickly before all the goods are gone you want to go there you bet NES Turtles 1 is one of my all-time most hated games, EpiFin says. I love the Turtles so much, they did everything they could to break my heart. Uh. TMN2 Arcade Gameport was such an amazing turnaround. That's the only one that I've done. We, uh, we did that one on the stream last year. I finally beat it. That's one where, like, that's one where I made a couple attempts at it, and then I kind of stopped for a, a year. And then I, uh, and then I came back to it and tried real hard for a while and finally beat it. And I believe, uh, the first time I beat it, we actually got a one credit clear, which was very nice. game is uh, the game is tough I'm not I'm not really much for um, I'm not really all that into beat-em-ups in general they're not terrible I will play one from time to time but they're definitely not the first thing I reach for so like I, I found that game to be really tough it took a long time for me to, to make it through and it's got like a million levels, and Shredder at the end is impossible. That guy is impossible. I don't even know how I beat him. As some will say this game is Mega Man, but worse. We say it's Mega Man, but better. I don't know if I would go so far as to liking this better than Mega Man. It's not quite the same thing. That's what, uh, that is what I said at the start of the stream. The only thing I knew about this game before playing it was that people compare it to Mega Man. Um, but I mean, it's clearly very different from Mega Man. For one thing, Darkwing Duck has knees. <laughs> he can actually crouch. And Mega Man does not have that technology. <laughs> so Im immediately it's a completely different game. <laughs> I really, I really like it so far. I think this game is very cool. I like, I like being able to grab onto stuff and climb. That makes it a lot of fun. I've been, I've been pointing out a lot lately that I really like games with a degree of verticality to them. I like, uh, I like being able to move vertically. But 
It's the uh, it's the jump king. I can't I can't get enough. I can't get enough vertical movement after jump king. I really need this guy to go away. <laughs> Thank goodness. Is that guy flying on a broomstick? I think it's a magic carpet. We just hate Mega Man. Oh, that breaks my heart too. Pretty sure this game is actually built on Mega Man 4's engine. Or one of those games takes a few liberties from Mega Man. Had this on the NES when we were a kid. Didn't have an actual Mega Man, so we're cursed. Uh, I can show you the world. Yeah, let's make it like Mega Man, only insert, insert idea instead. I thought I was heading toward a secret moving up here, but I, I think this is just the way you're supposed to go. Oh, one up. Nice. I didn't like Mega Man for a long time. I, uh, I rented a lot of the Mega Man games when I was a kid, but they were just too hard or I couldn't understand them. There was something... I just could never connect with Mega Man when I was young. I didn't I didn't like the games. It wasn't until I went back to them as an adult that I started to uh that it started to unlock for me and now I really love them. I don't know them all that well. I haven't uh I most of them I've only played one time, so like it's hard for me to tell you like which game is which. They're all just kind of one big game like, blurred together in my memory, except Mega Man 1. That one I know real well, because it's the one I've played the most, and it's the one I like the most. Victory! That boss is super easy. First try. Uh, one time Claire and I raided you. It was from this specific game. I recall that now, now that you mention it, uh, Ooze, and welcome to the stream. Juker had challenged us to beat his time at it. I didn't remember which way it had gone. I didn't remember who had challenged whom. Cows, welcome in. Welcome to Darkwing Duck, cows. We're having fun tonight. This is a good game. <laughs> This is going well. It's not without its uh, it's not without its jank and not without its uh, difficulties for me, but all in all, we're moving along quite smoothly. This is a good time. There are a lot of games I didn't like as a child, and now do as an adult, and vice versa. Kusari Gama says, yeah, and there are a lot of games like. Like, I never played, I never played Contra as a kid, but I know I would have hated it, because it was, it, just based on how, how challenging it is, I would have hated it as a kid. But, uh, it's one of my favorite. it's one of my favorites.
There's a two-player element in Mega Man 2. I'm unaware of this. I'm always uh, I'm always running solo. Juker played it for a challenge. We beat him at it because it's one of the few games we're good at. Ten thousand hours of practice or something. Moliarty is developing a monstrous new machine in the tower. Moliarty, as in Moriarty, like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you probably would have played Contra with the code as a kid, because that's what everyone did, and it made it lovable. I don't know. I don't know if I would have known about the Konami code. I didn't, um... I don't know if I ever would... I didn't. don't know if I would have had a way of learning about the Konami code. I would have if I, uh, I definitely would have used it if I'd known it, but I have my doubts that I would have been able to learn it. Amazon Prime Directive, thank you for the watch streak. It came through. Thank you for, uh, three nights in a row. tough to join a stream con c consistently, so I don't want to take it for granted. It's very nice and very kind of you to spend your time here with us. Did you ever actually watch Darkwing Duck? A little bit. I didn't know it. I don't know it very well, Claire. Um, I saw it every now and then. Um, I couldn't tell you, like, I don't remember it well enough. I couldn't tell you, like, the plot of a single episode or anything like that. I remember the theme song. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's about it. <laughs> it's one that, like, I would watch if it was on, but I, but... I, it's not one that I tuned into every week for whatever reason. I don't know if it conflicted with something I liked more, or I don't know. Wolf Duck is made up. It's not an actual villain from the show. I didn't know that. I mean, I never would have guessed that. Moliarty was based on the Sherlock villain, villain, but was only in like two episodes. I just, uh, I didn't have, like, I didn't have any of the, like, video gaming magazines when I was a kid, and I didn't have a lot of friends that were really into games. Um. So there wasn't, uh, like, one of my cousins had a, had a lot of games. And, like a, like, a few of my friends played, like, would play, like, a game or two, but they weren't, like... When I was real young, there wasn't, there weren't, there wasn't really very many people that, like, it was, like, their main hobby, like it was mine. I grew up in a small town, like, you know low population remote area so <laughs> I 
I don't understand. I don't understand how it's possible I keep getting worse at cracking eggs, not better, Zergling says. I can relate to that, Zergling. I feel like... I mean, I don't feel like I consistently get worse, but I definitely have days where it's like... I seem to mess up every egg I try and crack. I like to buy the jumbo eggs from the store because I feel like they're easier to crack. They're not the most cost efficient choice, but... Eggs uh, don't seem to be terribly expensive where I am to begin with, so. Paying a little more for the bigger eggs doesn't really, doesn't really hurt me all that much. No one knows why he was in this game, because the most famous and consistent villain isn't in the game. Maybe they were saving him for the sequel. You know, uh... Uh, DuckTales got a sequel, and Chip and Dale got a sequel, so... Maybe they, uh, maybe they were, maybe they were thinking ahead and expecting this one would too. Been a while since I used an arrow. <laughs> Glad I still have them. And the theme was was a jam, so it's a good thing to know. Contrary to reputation, and so did the code. <laughs> Maybe they picked the villains based on who who was easiest to like copy the design of the previous Mega Man bosses from. <laughs> I mean, these these boss fights don't feel like Mega Man boss. These boss fights don't feel like Mega Man boss fights to me. They didn't just uh, they didn't just reskin Mega Man bosses for sure. They're uh, they're their own kind of thing. I have no idea what is going on. see what's going on. How do you get me? I don't believe it. This is an interesting boss. Oh, I won! Victory! I thought I died! I won! <laughs> Let's go!
You got through the level and boss fight we hate most in this game, so you're probably golden, Claire says. I think we're, uh, I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I thought she died too. I did die, but the game didn't register it. Double KO in my favor. Let's go. Thank you for the trophies, cows. We finally located the hideout of Steelbeak. He is on Fowl's floating fortress. Let's get dangerous. All right, let's go. I think this is probably the last, uh... I think this is probably the last, the last stage. Uh, we can never finish the Bushroot Jungle level back in the day. Even now it's the, the one that kicks us down. I had I had some trouble with that stage at first, Claire. I I I I was struggling there for a, for for a, a good little while. Knowing you got through that means you're gonna get it. I feel confident. I uh I didn't really like that stage, but I liked that boss. The stage, the stage wasn't even that bad after I learned it a little bit, but uh, it's definitely, a, you know, it was definitely a challenge, but. Shirt's a good boss, but the uh, stage is the worst of the game. Learning what to do makes it easier. <laughs> Yudo says that it does. That it does. I'm a slow. I'm a slow learner. So. The, the learning process is frequently a painful one for me. Learning what to do makes it easier might as well be my motto, the motto of the channel. <laughs> the more like, more like refusing to learn what to do makes it harder. <laughs> frequently refuse to learn, I think. All that time, all that, all that time wasted in Time Tunnel before I finally, before I finally agreed to read the manual. <laughs> Learning what, what to do is something we don't want to do because it might have spoilers. <laughs> Precisely. I hate I hate spoilers more than I hate failing at video games, and I really hate failing at video games. But I really hate spoilers. <laughs> those guys by not scrolling them all the way onto the screen. Ah, uh, no you can't. 
I thought I thought he wouldn't be able to fire if I didn't scroll the screen enough, but Oh, I found another secret. Sorry to interrupt your mission, but we need your help. A group of burglars have broken into the city's vault and taken all the valuable items. Alright, same... So, it appears to be the same as what we read before. It's the same minigame, even. So I assume there's one of these on every stage. It could be fun to go back and try and find them all. I only got, I only got two of them uh, so far. I'm gonna see, do you die if you fall here? I don't know how many lives I had, so that didn't actually answer my question. I was trying to see if that would cost us a life or if it would just kick us out of the game. I think it cost me a life because it set me so far back. I think if it was just kicking me out of the game, I wouldn't have been put so far back. regret my curiosity. spawn. I'm not really sure whether or not it would have. Oh, uh, you put spikes there? How rude. I don't like those enemies. Oh my goodness, I didn't know someone was in there, I'm sorry! Nice. Uh-oh. I didn't know he could change directions.
Hey, Greg, welcome in. Hope you're doing well tonight, Greg. If I could ask you a question, um, uh, Greg, if you have a moment, if you could check your, what your watch streak is at, I would be curious to, to know what number you're at because some people have had glitches with theirs. And I wonder if yours got reset as well. It's still at 62. That's uh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not everyone has been so lucky. I hope I've got another life because I don't have any more health. I'm having... Can you not fire when you're in the air? What's going on? Oh, I, it's because I'm it's because I'm accidentally hitting up when I turn around. <laughs> All right, this situation is very tough. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a little while, I think. <laughs> this, this this is a tough boss. Pen, don't back seat. I don't like uh, receiving suggestions. You've discovered the good stuff, <laughs> as in the as in the uh, the massive difficulty. <laughs> Not everyone suffered my streak fate, Zergling, Zergling says. Maybe just, I've, the, I've discovered the good stuff, as in a game that's not Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> It's all, it's all okay. It's all okay, Happy Pin. 
but yeah, just uh, just, uh, just please be uh, please be a little careful. Because I might not have ever thought of that on my own. I'm not going to use the sub weapons. <laughs> I am just going to stick. I am just going to stubbornly stick with the regular gun. If that's the bar, the bar is very low. The bar in that it's if it's not Jet Force Gemini, it's good. <laughs> Jet Force Gemini. Uh, I really wanted to like that game, and I really did like it for a while. But that game has been that game has been knocking my teeth out every night. Which is, of course, why we're gonna play it again tomorrow. I saw you said something about an I knowed before. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, though. I thought before maybe it was just a typo I didn't understand. frames okay that's a, that's a term i'm familiar with I didn't think he could walk across that gap. Games Frowny likes Jump King Time Tunnel. Games Frowny doesn't like Jet Force Gemini and Earthworm Jim. I was uh I was ranting about my distaste for Earthworm Jim earlier tonight too. Earthworm Jim on the Game Boy, I do have to say that Earthworm Jim on the Game Boy is a fantastic, a fantastic, uh, demake of the, uh, of the first game. Like, they, they translated it from 16 to 8 bits beautifully. I still don't like to play it, but... <laughs> They did a good, they did a, they did a really great job, like, preserving the, preserving the, uh, the game across, despite half the bits. Oh, please stop. This is impossible. Just the jump from the middle thing to either of the two on the other side is really tough. Even just jumping up there is really tough.
That's where in games where the characters respawn when you move the screen, you can unspawn them by glitching the screen. In games that work like that. Fortunately, I discovered this boss is terrible on my own already. Uh, it's alright, we'll get it. What, what fun would the game be if I first tried everything anyway, right? It's good, it's good to have something I can struggle with for a while. not throw myself down the pit this time. Yeah, I would usually, iframe I is usually the word that I would go to, um, probably. You mixed it up and used a Linux word. <laughs> How, how disappointed would you be if I told you I've been using Linux for like four years now and I, and I have no idea what a node is? <laughs> it does put us all the way back at the start, even if we survive the time limit there, so I think that wasn't a death. I also think that bonus game serves no purpose, though. trying to anticipate this guy instead of reacting to him, but the window is narrow. Even if you first tried everything, you'd come up with a challenge to make you hate life anyway. Come on, Frowny. <laughs> That's right, we need to go back to jumping, jumping, jumping kid. I need to get the Deathless run in that game. And then I'm going to see if I can get him to create a page for it on speedrun.com. I'm going to, I'm going to moderate the jumping kid leaderboards. If you do, I'll make it go at it. Have an 80 hour run of second place cow sets. <sighs> nice. That actually makes it tempting. So now they're trying to bring risk back? What is. I don't know what risk is. Not Risk with a C. Risk with a K is the board game, right?
I assume it's a dead programming language, but I don't know. I know it isn't something most Linux users would know. I wouldn't be disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> uh, and you're, I wouldn't be disappointed if you didn't know it and were pretty seasoned with troubleshooting Linux. No, I've had two, like, I've had two major catastrophes since I switched to Linux, but fortunately there were people in the Discord that were able to help me to, uh, to, to troubleshoot my way through them. They're saying it's going to replace Linux, AI, and everything. Reduced instruction set computer. It's a type of microprocessor architecture that utilizes a small, highly optimized set of instructions rather than the highly specialized set of instructions typically found in other architectures. <laughs> I think I read about that. inode is like a count of how many small files are on a computer and if there's too many you can't write to the hard drive anymore it's really rare rare something wacky happens and causes a problem with it. Hmm. So I had two I had two major problems since I switched to Linux. And the first was that the first was that I was bleeding hard drive space somehow and I couldn't figure it out. And for a while I thought for a while I thought my hard drive was just smaller than I remembered it being. And so I was just like whenever I would get critically low, I was just deleting files to make to make room. And that worked because I have a lot of video files since I, I I record the stream locally every night um, so I just purge my old video files and then I'd have more space for a while but inevitably it would go away and eventually I hit a point I hit a point where I couldn't I couldn't stay ahead of it no matter how much no matter how much I was deleting I couldn't keep space free and <laughs> I had to have someone help me to figure out that there was a program running in the background that I didn't even know about that was backing up my hard drive every week. And when it backed up my hard drive, it was backing up every file and it was keeping all the old backups. So, and when it, when it couldn't, when it was, when it ran out of space and it couldn't, uh, it couldn't create a new backup, like, it would just try again whenever I made more space. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. My computer was unusable for a while. I couldn't figure it out. But, uh, we, uh... I got StackCat to help me. They, uh... They volunteered to, uh... help me find out what was wrong, and, and we succeeded. And the second thing was I had problems with my webcam, and uh, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get my computer to recognize my webcam anymore. And uh, that one, it turned out that my webcam had just broken. <laughs> like, just something physically was wrong with the webcam. It had gotten old and worn out or whatever.
This guy is like, this is guy is what Colonel Sanders would look like if he were a chicken. And victory! Let's go! You foiled my plans this time, Darkwing, but the next time we meet, I shall be victorious. Job well done, Darkwing. Once again, you've freed the city from Fowl's grip of terror. You have earned the gratitude of the entire city forever. Thank you for the trophies, cows. Deduplication. Yeah, I had a trouble with I had a trouble with the duplication. Uh-oh. I, I missed what happened. I wrecked and crashed into the moon. Oh, fantastic. Hey, Christian Cool. Thank you for the lurk. Okay, let me catch up here. I feel like I've missed a lot of the chat. Thank you for the GG, Zergling. Thank you for the trophies, cows, Claire. <laughs> Remember how you said something about Chump King? Did I? Did I? The end. Best Mega Man game. Oh, we're stuck on this screen. Alright, well that was a lot of fun. I'm glad we played that. We do seem to have more time left. I guess you either have to start speedrunning this or play Jump King once more. <laughs> Yeah, don't we, don't, don't we want to reset and try for the Deathless? Don't we want to reset and try for Deathless Darkwing? <laughs> Thank you for the late GG, Kusari Gama. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The duplicating problem. Yeah, I can I can imagine it becoming quite troublesome. Thank you for the GG EpiPen. Let me take a uh, let me take a brief BRB and uh, <laughs> definitely it's definitely time for classic frowny ridiculous challenge runs. <laughs> well, let me not get your hopes up. I'm not I'm not gonna do a challenge run of Darkwing Duck tonight. Um, But we might do something else before Jump King. Let me uh, let me take a short BRB uh, though, and uh, I'll be right back with you in uh, in just a moment, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> 